Place a temperature probe in each of the two flasks. Then place each of the two flasks under vacuum at 120 degrees Celsius for one hour, and then turn on the stir bars. After you're done degassing, you can take the tellurium flask and put it under argon flow. Take the vacuum pump off the side and then reclose the other side with exhaust valve. You can then take the flask and take out the temperature probe and put it in the sonicator for 30 minutes. You can now take the other flask with the OA and ODE and take it off of the vacuum as well using the same procedure. Once it's under argon, raise the temperature to 260 degrees Celsius. After 30 minutes of sonication, you can take the tellurium flask out of the sonicator and check to make sure all of the powder is dissolved. If it is, leave it on the side for the next step in the reaction. First, we need to put argon into the diethyl zinc flask. We can then inject 1.3 milliliters of diethyl zinc into the tellurium precursor and let mix for about 10 seconds. Once the precursors have mixed, inject the entire precursor solution into the reaction flask at 260 degrees Celsius and let react for about 4 minutes. After the reaction has run for about 4 minutes, or if any aggregate is seen to be forming in small chunks in the solution, take the reaction flask off of the heat to quench the reaction. Once the reaction flask has cooled down to about room temperature, you can take the product and split it between two centrifuge tubes. Then top those tubes off to 15 milliliters with anhydrous ethanol. Place the centrifuge tubes into the centrifuge and let them spin for about 10 minutes at 5800 RPM. After the tubes have stopped spinning, take them out and make sure that all of the nanoparticles have collected to one side of the tube. You can then pour off the liquid phase and save the nanoparticles. With the liquid phase poured off, we can now redissolve the nanoparticles in anhydrous chloroform and then shake up the first tube to dissolve all of the particles. You can then use the same solution in the second tube to dissolve the rest of the particles. We can now store our solution in a closed glass vial at room temperature. The solution may be brown and somewhat transparent, like the one shown in the video, but it may also be oranger and cloudy. If we put the dots under UV illumination, we don't see any fluorescence. Transmission electron microscope images of the synthesized zinc telluride will show them being roughly spherical with a diameter of about 3 nanometers.